It's on the yard sports and I'm Perry White and what I need for you to do is go follow and subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram as well as Twitter right now. Let's check out the Jaguars of Southern University. A.W. Mumford Stadium, located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, has a capacity of 28,500, and the Jaguars went 5-0 at home during the 2022 season. Coach Eric Dooley was named the head coach of Southern University in 2021, and he's no stranger to the program. He coached at Southern from 1997 to 2010 under legendary head football coach Pete Richardson, helping the program win a 1997 and 2003 Black College National Championship, as well as winning the SWAC Championship in 1997, 1998, 1999, as well as 2003. Let's take a look back at the fall 2022 Southern University football schedule where they finished 7-5 and 5-3 five and five and overall in conference play. And you look at this team, they ranked second in the SWAC in rushing yards, averaging 201 yards a game, and sixth in the SWAC in passing yards, averaging 196 yards a game. Offensively, second in the scoring in the SWAC, averaging 31 points a game. Defensively, they ranked third in the SWAC, giving up an average of 21 points a game, as well as first in the SWAC in rush defense, giving up an average of 112 yards a game. Fourth in the SWAC and pass defense, giving up an average of 189 yards a game. The 2023 offseason for the Southern University Jaguars is simply can they win it all? You look at what they were able to do in National Sign Day, go and add some depth. The Jaguars lose their quarterback last year. He transfers out Bashawn McCray and two key running backs in Carl Liggins as well as Gerard Sims. But they're looking to have a quarterback battle now with Harold Blood, a fifth-year senior, and a transfer in from Grambling State, Noah Biden. When you look defensively, Jalen Campbell on the defensive side of the ball. 51 tackles, 6 sacks, 12 tackles for a loss last year. The Jaguars are going to try to put it together and see if they can finally get over that hump and win another SWAC Western Division title and get themselves to Atlanta for the Celebration Bowl. Let's listen to Coach Eric Dooley. Address that offense because I was a little disappointed. I, I, I thought that we finished second in a lot of categories, but that's that's not uh, the offense that, uh, that I imagined that we would have. Uh, I thought we wasn't explosive enough. I thought we left a lot of plays on the field. I thought we left a lot of points on the field. So I'm, I'm definitely looking to revamp that offense and be more explosive. But when you talk about the defense, I'm very excited about what they bring to the table. We got some guys on there that can run. They're fast and they're physical. So uh, Coach Miller bringing back a, a good uh, defensive scheme with some players that we uh, brought in to fit into what we're trying to do. So I, I'm excited about all three phases of our game, though. Let's take a look at the Southern University Jaguars 2023 football schedule. I want to thank my friends over at Versus Sports Simulator for sending over this projected record. They had the Jaguars at 9-2, best case 10-1, worst case 8-3 with two swing games, one at home against the Rattlers of Florida a and another on the road in a tough game against the Braves of Alcorn State. The Jaguars pick to finish first in the SWAC West. They're going to have the target on their back as you have the rest of those teams stacked up looking to win a SWAC Western Division title themselves. Now we look at the 2023 All SWAC football selection, All SWAC first team offense and defense, and All SWAC second team offense and defense. And the Jaguars with the second most players named to this list, nine players total. And you can see why they picked to finish first in the SWAC West. Be sure to follow and subscribe. And as always, I'm Perry White. Peace.